today's drawing will be based on this shape. It's actually a pretty simple shape, but when we run into some problems is right back here. And there's a few little techniques we'll discuss that help make that a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and start a new part. And let's take a look at some dimensions while we're at it. I'll just start back here. So I know the circle here is dimensioned 0.313 and it's extruded 1.125. So let's take care of that. So drawing that circle is 0.313 and it's extruded 1.125. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and see what's next. So we've got kind of a smaller shaft here. The diameter of that is 0.158 and the dimension of that is also 1.125. So 0.158 and 1.125. So I'll come back on here. Let's we'll zoom in just a little bit. And we said this was 0.158 and it was also extruded the 1.125. So really I just gotta click it. Okay, let's see what else we got. So we got the end here, and it is the same. It's identical to the first one, so 0.313. So we just need the length of it. A couple ways to find that. Looks like the 0.313 is the length of it, but we could also do some math here, right? 2.563 minus 2.25, and that would get us that. So the, the diameter is 0.313, and the length is 0.313. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Well, this one should be kind of easy because we just got to match it up with that last circle, right? And we might have to click both circles here. See how it put the hole in the middle? So let's try that again. So let's extrude. I'll start with clicking the smaller one and then the outside one. And then I got to change the distance to 0.313. So now let's take a look here. We've got pretty well everything, but we need to get that hole in there, don't we? So let's get some dimensions. This says from the back edge to the center is 0.625 and it gives us a diameter of 0.188. So let's take care of that. First off, let's let's rotate this thing around so that it kind of looks like what was in the actual drawing there. All right, so I've got the piece drawn. Now what I've got to do is I've got to find I've got to find a way to draw in there again. So I'm going to go over here to origin. I need a perpendicular plane is what I need. So this YZ, see I've highlighted that, that would do it. The XZ would also do it. The XY would not do it. So I'm going to start here and just right click and say new sketch. Now the issue is I can't, I can't see in there where I'm drawing. So I'm going to go and I'm going to escape to get out of pan mode right now. Then I'm going to right click and say slice graphics. And it cuts it in half for me. So I'll take this circle now. There's the, there's the center point, right? So I'm going to start there and just kind of move down. And I know the diameter, this is 0.188. And I know dimension-wise from the center line, or the end line, rather, to the center point of this circle was 0.625. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish Sketch there. Now that circle's in there, so let's go ahead and hit Extrude. There's the circle itself. So I'm going to hit both ways here. I'm going to hit Symmetric, right? And I need to make sure I put a cut there. Then I'll hit OK. 